Welcome to 3D.SK. On this site you can find thousands of images of whatever you need, from male and female characters, to costumes, to animals. We also have 3D scans, textures, texture maps, street photo reference, studio photo reference, and many more. In this tutorial we'll be talking about how to set up reference using images from 3D.SK. So first of all, I will search for studio photo reference. For this I want gender, woman, and photo sets. You may search for male, female, any image from this site will work, as long as it's a studio photo reference. You may also do this with street photo reference and many other references on this site. But for this tutorial, I'll be using Rania. I'm going to try and find an image that is front, side and back for you, and without clothing. Here I found a front, a side, and a back view, which I will use for this tutorial. I have them already downloaded onto my system, so now it's onto Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop with our three images downloaded from 3DSK opened, our front, side, and back view, we can now start to edit. So first of all, pressing Control A, Edit, Copy, or Control C, we can go to File New, Clipboard, and then get in the highest value from the width for the height. So in this case, it's my height, 6840, and create. Now we are going to copy each of the images and paste them into the new canvas. Now that we have done that, now it is time to line up the images. Now that we have our three images, the first thing we need to do is find the center of the canvas and make a guide. So go into New Guide Layout, go into Columns, 2, No Margin, No Gutter, No Width, pressing OK. This shows us the dead center of our canvas. Now we can move the front to line up. This is important later on. So now that we have it lined up, to our liking, we can then move on to the back view. Lining it up again to the center. Okay, now that these are lined up, we need to match the front to the back. So to do this, what I will do is I'll turn I'll get the back and I'll turn the opacity down. This lets me see through the image, so I may line them up better. Moving the image, I try and line them up as best as I can. It doesn't have to be exact, unless you're going for this specific person. In this case, I'm just using this as a base for my character. Getting them roughly lined up. Turning off the other one, lining up the center again. For me, this is well enough lined. Moving on to the side view, we now want to turn down the opacity on the side view, hide the back view, and line this up also. In this case, this image may need scaling down a little bit. So using the Control T and the Translate tools, I can scale it down. Maybe scale it back up a little bit more.
for me, this is pretty good. The face, in this case, does not matter. As for the face in the beginning, you will just have a generic sphere shape. Now I'm going to turn up all the opacity again on each of the layers and look at them individually. Turn them off and on. See how well they line up. I'm happy with this. So now I'm going to save them individually. Save the first one. Garnier Studio. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save this as the front. I already have done this in the past, so I'm not going to over save my files. You can do this for each of them by showing and hiding the other layers, save as, and then you can save this as the back. This one, save this as the left or the side. After completing this tutorial, you can watch the next tutorial so you can put your reference images into 3ds Max or ZBrush. The ZBrush tutorial uses this reference and the 3ds Max one uses a street photo reference which you can find on 3d.sk. Any reference photo on 3d.sk can be used with this tutorial so please browse the thousands of images available on our website 3d.sk. Welcome to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with feedback and suggestions below and you can also comment on what you would like to see us do in the future. Thank you and goodbye.